Okay, more Bill Paxton pinball. Well, I've now printed the main art for the board and the inserts, and I'm going to let the main art dry for a couple days, and then on Friday, <clears throat> I'm going to cut the main board and apply the art to it and laminate it. So that should be cool. I mean, it's cool enough just to see the board printed and you're like, oh, this is what it's going to look like. I mean, like in reality, not on a computer screen. So along the way, I'm getting these playfield inserts ready. And uh, these are the parts of the playfield that light up. These are the wife icons that show you point they point to where to hit the ball to you know marry the wives it starts out with a laser cut piece of acrylic like this and there's a pattern on the back of like a star to give it kind of some texture when it lights up I had to goo on all of those to get the crud off them so a lot of the stuff is very unsexy boring stuff just like carefully trimming the layers of plastic. In this case, there's a layer of white translucent, which is backlighted, sort of clear white. And on top of that goes a piece of clear graphics with the graphics on it, or clear vinyl with the graphics. And, you know, it doesn't print the white, so you've got to put white behind it. The graphics are actually clear. Here, I've got one here. Uh... What one can I spare here? I guess I could spare this one. See how that's printed there? Well, the first layer is just clear. You can see right through it. And it, you know, looks okay, but it's got to have something white behind it. So we have to put white translucent behind it. Otherwise, when you light it, it would just be all bright and completely washed out. So once it's been trimmed like that, what we can do is... um backlight it so I guess yeah my power supply is super loud guess you can't really see the transition doesn't really show up very well on here but oh yeah you can see the star pattern light up in the background so yeah it looks a lot more lit in reality trust me <laughs> but um yeah so that's pretty much how that works and I've got these little LED replacement bulbs for the board itself so yeah it's another part of the process. Boring, tedious, necessary.